Welcome back, ladies, gentlemen, and citizens of the Empire. How are you all today? Is everything going great in your life? I hope so. I really hope so. All right, so last we left off... What did we do last? Oh, yeah. We robbed a fucking auction house! And now we're about to turn in that quest to Master Olgird von Everek. Which you? Oh, wait. For once, Oxenfurt isn't glitchy as shit today. Oh, God. Okay, Oxenfurt's being a little bit glitchy, but I think that's fine. Kinda having a good day. That's good. Huh? Oh, what the hell? Why is this glowing? Empty herring barrel. Stinks of fish. Mm. Okay. Wait, what's this? Letters of old gear. Huh. All gear. Need to chat. I'm all ears with you. Got the house for you. Got something for you. I love gifts, but I prefer to unwrap them in private. All right, lads, mind the barrels. Going out for a jabber with Geralt. Cool. Oh, that's better. All right, what do you have for me? Max Persodi's house, as requested. Ah, Horst must be livid. He's not. No? He's not anything except dead. His brother, same thing. A few others, too. Stones you've got. But I didn't think he'd have a stomach for a massacre. Oh, trust me, Geralt does when the choice is needed. Uh, fully stocked up on boomer juice and coffee for Friday night. What is boomer juice? I don't know what... Is that gonna make me a boomer? <laughs> had no choice you underestimate me you kind of underestimate me because i did have a choice <laughs> oh think i might find the stomach for another once your final wish is fulfilled <laughs> you really don't like me do you hate smart asses hate it when they try to use me it's why both brothers are dead and why you should tread carefully noted now i have some advice for you the boss sodas aren't worth your tears sons of bitches to a man Monster energy. Oh, that's what it is. I don't drink energy drinks that often. I just had a Red Bull, like, last week for the first time. Or no, it was earlier this week, but still. Why did you need those papers? To sink the Borsodis, naturally. You see, I learned of an interesting clause in old man Maximilian's will. It states that his sons must meet and shake hands in agreement at least once a year at Bellatay. Failing that, the auction house must be auctioned off. The proceeds to go to Vilmeria's hospital. Guess the old man sensed what might happen. Horse to you, the annoying on soil now. But thanks to these papers, their relatives won't get the auction house. Families lost it for good. And the hospital will have the funds it needs to treat orphans and beggars pro bono. Awfully noble of you, showing so much concern for the needy. I couldn't give a rat's ass about the needy. May they wither and disappear along with the city. I wanted one thing. Revenge. Well, okay. Uh, the Borsodis, what's your gripe? The Borsodis? What's your gripe? Get kicked out of an auction? Worse. They evicted me from my home. Oh, that sucks. Are you really interested? Yeah, why not? Wouldn't have asked if I wasn't. Ha! <laughs> Cheeky as ever. My family. They took on some debt. A poor investment in a sawmill. A bad crop one year. A lawsuit lost. You know how it is. When it rains, it pours. We needed but a few weeks to recover. But Horst Borsodi had acquired our debt. All of it. Demanded it be repaired immediately. I pleaded. I begged. 
I tore open my shirt at his threshold. Ugh, it was like talking to a wall. I went to the auction, saw those perfumed pricks by my father's sword, my mother's death mask, my brother's horse tack. Ah, Horst earned a pretty pile selling our mementos. No surprise the animosity you feel for him. That was but the start. My Iris's parents learned of my family's misfortune, and our betrothal was no more. They found her another suitor. One from beyond the sea. The anger I felt. I thought I'd gone mad. Went to the tavern. Drank around. A second. A broad. Then had another tank. And then. Then. I asked the wrong bloke for help. Yo, that's pretty shitty. Especially with the Borsoni thing. That, that's pretty fucked up. <laughs> Finish up. They're really no, nah, that's too dickish. What happened then? Uh, what happened then, Witcher, was one big stinking pile of shite. Well, why do you stand there? Do you need something still? Task. Third wish. Time you stated it. A moment, Geralt. I will say to something. Then we'll chat. You there. Yank the heron out the barrel. Steady in just Come on, none of this dallying. Ah, ah, ah. Now, ready to listen? Or do you still not give two shots about what I've got to say? I'm ready. I'm listening. Good. You'll return to your lord and tell him as follows. His demand was brazen. Hurt me to the core. For I was brought up to respect the sacred law of hospitality. And I shall not bend to an uncouth boar's dictum. Understood. I will pay him a visit shortly to test his willingness to adapt. So you ride off and announce me. And don't spare your horse. Got it? Aye, got it. Give this man a mount and leave him go. Come with you. We must talk outside. Well, all right. <laughs> the Afiri believe one should only discuss important matters out of doors with the gods as witnesses. Uh, okay, so what's with the barrel? Come on. The barrel? What was that about? On the way here, we stopped for nourishment at a tavern <coughs> belonging to one Lord Dauntless. We enjoyed ourselves as one does at an inn, raucously. Our antics were not to the liking of this dogless. Sent a man to warn us that if we were ever to return, we would hang. You burned the inn down? I left ample compensation with the innkeep. But it seems the rapscallion neglected to mention this to his lord. But that's of little import. What matters is someone called me a horse and threatened to kill me. It was one of those threats that sound like an invitation. I intend to accept it. Return to those parts. Yeah, that's not a good idea. Must have made quite a few enemies along the way. Maybe not today and not tomorrow, but someday, someone will find a way to take you down. And that should trouble me why. I feel no fear, no regret. The wise men of Oxenford claim there are no gods. After death, there is only the void. I've known this void already. Death holds no surprises. Well, okay. Give me the third task, then. Fulfilled two of your wishes. Time I learned the third. Confident, aren't you? Proud, sure of your strengths. 
Fearless. Third task, if you don't mind. Mutations. They stripped you of emotion. Tell me, have you ever loved? I mean, truly loved? Yes, I have. In fact, you're keeping me from Kovir. Yeah, I've loved. Can we get to the matter at hand? Perhaps instead we ought to sit down inside. Have a good chat over some fiery water. <sighs> I don't want to drink with you once this is over. We'll drink once the job's done. Afraid that's impossible. Succeed and that's the end of me. Fail and you'll not be back. Third wish. Still waiting to hear it. Aye, aren't you stubborn? Fine. Listen well. I had a wife once. The day I saw her at last, I gave her a rose. A violet one. Bring me that blue. Wouldn't mind reminding myself what it looks like. <sighs> when was that? How long's it been? Flowers wilted and turned to dust by now. You wished to hear a wish. Now you out. Fulfill it. I ride now to visit this dauntless, but one of my men will remain here. He'll know how to find me. That is, of course, should you succeed. At least you could tell me where your wife is. In my old manor, east of Martin Foy's farmstead. I'd wish you Godspeed, but, well, you understand, I'm sure. Goodbye, Geralt. All right, old geared. I owe you no sympathy. <laughs> God, he, he's such a dick. Um. Oh God. Now let let let's take a moment to think about his tasks for a minute. He acts like they're extremely impossible. When in reality, in a world with magic, they're kind of not. Like, okay, sure, raising the dead is a little bit hard because, you know, necro fuck, necromancy exists. But, like, stealing the house of Max Barsotti, it all you really gotta do is figure out that it's, um, figure out that it's deed documents and shit and, then, and figure out where to get them and then you can steal them. Like what happened. Raise, raising his brother from the dead and giving them the time of his life necromancy or a blood summoning like just happened this we'll have to see but I guarantee you like with magical conventions it's not going to be as hard All right, let's, let's get some of these question mark shits done before we head over to the manor come on Neckers. Wait, nope. Gotta get the ogroid oil. Nope. Uh, which one is it? Beast. Insectoid. There we go. Oh god, why is it glitching at me? Ow. Navaboo, I know you haven't been around in a while, so if you if you like to see the rest of the playthrough, I do have a YouTube channel. <laughs> I know, shameless plug every day. Wait, abandoned site. Where, oh, okay, by the uh, this little dock here. Upper Velen... Uh, no, this is technically the Redania area. It, the place is absolutely beautiful, for, for God's sake. Nope, turn around. 
Okay, so where is the... Ah, where are the beasts? Oh, do I gotta get rid of both of the nests? Oh god. Yes, it does! Okay. Come here, Roach. get up ahead. Pretty nice place. From the look of, of it at least, people still seem to be living near it. Yeah. Kendrick! Kendrick! Hey there. Kendrick! Kendrick, you there? Not so loud. Ah! Oh, God, scared me off to... Not so loud, I said. Fog's not natural. Could be something in there hiding. Foglets or air nymphs, for example. Don't want to attract them. Believe me. F Foglets? Oh, sweet mother, my little Why don't I ever come here? Good question. What are you doing here? I'm assuming Kendrick is your friend. Good question. What are you doing here? See, Kendrick and me, we thought man has been empty all these years, full of fine things, going to rot. Mm hmm. So you're a thief. Thief steal from the living. What's the arm taking from the dead? Kendrick went to open the door. I stood watch. Suddenly heard his lamp smash. Ain't nothing. Quiet. Called out to him, but... What? what? What was that? One of them foglets you spoke of? No. No. Phew. That's a stone off my... I'll see what that was and look for your partner. You... I ain't about to wait around. I'm out of here. Pretty sprawling, this estate. How am I gonna find that rose in this fog? Wait, what the... Fresh manure. Interesting. Alright, what do we got? Water's ice cold. Mountain stream cold. Is it still running? Rather worn. Used often. Wonder by who? A busted lamp, and the grounds trampled. Back the way we came. Somebody dragged something this way. A body? 
Someone dragged a wounded man through here. Come on. Prints from cleated boots, leading from the back of the garden. Scooch along, kitty. This place. What's that? That. Digging. A lockpick? Must have been the other thieves. Yep, definitely went this way. Butcher glasses activated. Yeah, right. <laughs> thief. Bodies mutilated. Who are you? Damn. All right. It's it's fight time. Frankenstein's monster over here. does work.
Switch to grape shot. Salmon, grape shot. There you go. or nostrils, deformed organs, damn thing had no right to be alive. You got a problem, Kitty? Well, philosophers do still debate what it means to be alive, exactly. Normally I'd be shocked, but not after what I just saw. Who are you two? Clearly not animals. Think of us as friends of the house. Okay. What's with the show? The pretense that you're animals. You couldn't have warned me? No. We're obliged to maintain discretion. I so see. why talk to me at all? Why? Well, we get so few chances to talk to humans, and we're curious to know what brought you. Gonna need a better answer than that. Later. Alright, what was this thing? What about this thing? What can you tell me? Friend of yours? We called him the caretaker. Doesn't look like any creature I've ever seen. Where'd it come from? From very far away. He was summoned to guard Lady Iris in the home. He tended the garden, took care of unwanted guests. Very far away. Meaning where, exactly? The name of this place would mean naught to you. <laughs> I always knew cats were... are the ones truly in charge of the house, but didn't see that coming. <laughs> you know the master of the house? The owner? Olgird von Everick? Yes. We know him, but he left, and his wife became mistress of the house. Great. So, Lady von Everick home? Could you announce me, say she has a guest? Why do you wish to see her? I'm here to get the violet rose Olgir gave Iris just before he left. Iris is inside, in the bedchamber upstairs. Take his key. It opens the rear door. Guess I'll make my own introductions. So, how should I address you? Sweet. As you did now. We'd rather keep our names to ourselves. Well, okay then. At least I got a shovel sword out of- I'm afraid! Okay, Iris is afraid. Fireplace. Place is in giant disrepair. So there we go. Oh, that's the end. Okay. Is there a door then? Ah. Careful. 
so before we go any further, let's equip the specter oil. Repair the sword. Oh, damn. And perhaps just wait an hour to replenish everything. Okay, the ghost doesn't like us touching her shit. Or at least some of her shit. Since it was her sketchbook, I assume it's really just that. Intruder! Okay. Hey, Iris, no. I'm here to help you. That's unsettling as hell. Oh, no, ignite and examine the table, please. Mm, tidy, and everything's clean, ready for a meal to be served. Caretaker must still set the table. I mean, well, he won't anymore. Wait, what the hell? Alright, let's find some stairs, yeah? Or a door. Nope, locked. Stores over. Stores. Stairs over here blocked. Yep. Fireplace is ignited. Is it still locked? Yep. Alright, so let's try going up these stairs. want us here. That is a creepy child. Old beard and iris, huh? Happy families are all alike. Every unhappy family is unhappy in its own way. Yep. Hmm. Fire damage. Interesting. Alright, so... Books. Florence in a room. More fire damage now.
through there. Dead chamber. Iris was supposed to be here. And that must be Iris' body. studio. Man should frame his wishes carefully. It forestalls disappointment. This some sick joke. Why didn't you tell me she was dead right away? You didn't ask. Of course. <sighs> and why hasn't anyone buried her? We can't. As for the caretaker, the one you cut down, while still alive, she ordered him to stay away from her for all time. Well, okay. Um... Why exactly are you helping me? The deeper I get into this, the more I gotta wonder. Why are you even helping me? We were summoned to serve Iris von Everick. Our mistress died, but that did not free us from her service. Got it. You wanna leave this place, leave these bodies. <laughs> Surprised? No. No, not at all. How'd she die? How did she die? <laughs> Don't see any wounds, evidence of a fight. Her heart burst. Meaning what? A heart attack? No, it simply burst. Find that hard to believe. Yet that's precisely what happened. One day Iris locked the front door, lay down here and died. From grief, from loneliness. Ghosts, restless, angry, attacks intruders. Know why? Lady Von Everick has endured much hardship. She's unaccustomed to guests and not fond of strange folk. She can't hear us. All right, well, I need to talk to her ghost. Seems I gotta speak to Iris's ghost. It's no easy task to contact the mistress. Rage and bitterness fill her. Got my ways. To make contact with Iris, I gotta bury her body. But that caretaker's macabre little cemetery won't do. Too much blood, too much fear. She spent much time in the front garden. Hmm, maybe there. Wait! Take this key. It opens the front door. Good dog. <laughs> Alright, well let's go find a good place to bury her. What's this? A grave? Here? Okay, seems the caretaker buried a few people already. She liked to sit here, but this is not a good place for a grave. Too close to the house. I'll keep searching. Hmm. Iris von Everek adored flowers. But she would never want to destroy them. Makes sense. Mm -hmm. Alright, I'll take the grave somewhere else. Ah, probably near her easel. This place seems suitable? Yes, she loved to paint. Did Iris von Everick have any last requests? Say how she wanted her remains disposed of? She feared death. Worried none would see to her burial or say a kind word in parting. Guess I'll be the one to do that. Von Everick, uh, Iris was a talented painter. Yeah, the fuck she was. 
was Old Gear's wife. Okay, that's dumb and talented. Can't say much about Iris von Everek, but I do know I like her paintings. It's a shame her art couldn't bring her greater comfort. At times, fate muddles our path, and life turns toilsome, hard to bear. Yet all deserve respite and peace in death. Place her sketchbook on her grave, painting of Iris, or full geared on the grave. No, sketchbook. Your name's inscribed in this sketchbook. Perhaps you'd like it to be buried with you. You two, got any last words for your mistress? We don't partake in human rituals. Trusting that what you've done is in keeping with your customs. Okay. The remains are interred. Let's summon her. Tormented spirit, I've laid your bones to rest. Forget your wrath, forget your grief. Show yourself. Forgive me for tearing you from your realm. I need to ask you. Should I follow you? All right. What is this place? The painted world. The work of Iris von Everek. you two get in here? We exist in both worlds at once. Alright, well tell me about it. Strange place. One born of Iris von Everek's dreams. It existed only in her mind while she lived. In death it gained substance. Pretty fantastic tale. Hard as hell to believe. Yet you'd best believe it, and be on your guard. The painted world is rife with danger. All right, where'd she go? All right, this is lovely and all, but where's Iris? You awoke her, but for a moment. If you wish to speak to her, you must tear her from her slumber completely. Sure, but how? You're a tracker, right? Saw you examining the tracks outside. Yeah, so? This is a world built of memories blurred and wilting. Moments our mistress wishes to forget, but cannot. You need to find them, restore them, summon the fears that torment Iris, and destroy them. Easy to say. Well, let's do it. Spectres of Olgid and his wife, but why aren't they moving? This is a memory. But it's incomplete, blurred. You must peer closely and restore it. So what do we have then? Her easel's there. This is a book. The spirit from the step. Read often, well worn. Uh, okay. Probably an old dude's hand. Perfect match. Pieces of tableware for an afternoon tea or breakfast. And a painting palette. Probably not 
right. There's no place for her hand, so let's try putting the pallet here. Perfect match. We should get a dog. Or a dog and a cat. Even better. When the rain comes, the dog will warm my feet and the cat will play with a ball of yarn by the fire. What do you think? Are you even listening? Apologies, dear. I had my mind on my book. Is it that terribly absorbing? Hmm? Yes, uh, terribly. Know what? Let's go inside. Why? It's lovely out here. The birds singing, the bees buzzing. Blissful, really. Sorry, dear. I feel unwell. I'll go in. You stay a while longer. Another memory. Uh, what's this? Okay. Other decorations for a special occasion. Wine cup, just like the one Olgierd's holding. Anything else? Let it Wedding deal. veil. Wait, what the fuck? Oh, that's the, the fucking Spectre Cat. Okay, so that's clearly the glass. Perfect match. Your health, my dear wife. And yours, my husband. In my land, custom calls that newlyweds be greeted with bread and salt. But we're alone for now. I need none but you. Oh, if only this moment could last forever. I shall see what I can do. But come in and see our home. Gladly, but... I know this sounds silly, yet the house has sat empty for so long, and I'm... Afraid of spiders. I know, I know. I swept them all up and tossed them in the garden. My knight, you've seen to everything. All right. Come on, who's next? Damn it all. This was Mass Effect. That second Commander Shepard. I wonder if he could bang the Is it ghost? Yeah, probably. We'll bang it, okay? Come on. Oh, 
Oh shit, didn't mean to drink both of them. Hmm. Medallion's humming. A wraith? No, a nightmare. A fear crystallized, one you must now face. Hold on, let's see. Alright, everything's replenished. Another dream of the past, but this one's incomplete too. Just a little different than the painting. Castel Ravello. A Toussaint wine. Expensive. Indeed. Alright, so the first two sconces. Silver thread. Pearls. It all must have cost a fortune. And the fireplace seemed to be lit as well. My darling, is everything all right? You seem pale, out of sorts. Everything's fine, really. But why don't you tell me how you fare? I'm ever so happy to see you. Except, why didn't Grandmama and Grandpapa come? It's a long, rugged journey. Muddy. They still refuse to meet me. Is that it? And what's this? We brought some of Iris's things. Her favorite brush, her cherished doll. Ah, and uh, this for you. Banknotes. We paid off your debts, bought them out, to avoid bringing shame to the family. So nice of Mama and Papa to remember me. Olga. Now you see his true nature? I warned you before the wedding. A ruffian and a boar who keeps the company of bandits. Are you not afraid to live under one roof with that rabble? Spectres. Or spectres. At least it's not spiders. Come on, come closer. There we go. So let's follow him. Again, don't like this place. All right, so let's see if we can apply more specter oil. Where are we going upstairs? The bed chamber. Wash basin. Hmm. Blood stains on it. Mm -hmm. What's this? Bloodstained towel. Didn't wash it all off. Got some on the towel. That it? What... what time is it? It's late. Sleep. Up all night in your study again, I see. What have you got on your hands? Nothing. Got a bit dirty, that's it. Is that blood? Have you hurt yourself? Ink stains. I was writing letters. I shall go to Oxenfurt soon. Perhaps you'd come with me. Oh, that's a marvellous idea. A trip would do us both so much good. Then it's decided. Now, time for bed. I'm exhausted. I shan't fall asleep now. It's out of the question. Come, I shall finish your portrait. <laughs> so excited. What have we got? Another blurred memory. Anything? 
anything more. Yep, bowl of fruit. Fresh, as if someone just rinsed it. Is that it? Yep, okay. She painted all geared, but the details are off. Living Tableau's missing something. Living Tableau's gotta look just like the painting. Okay, so place the goblet. Middle. Maybe on this side. Ah, uh, God. Back. Let me go look at the painting. Mm, still not right. Let me look at the painting. Okay, so... Or no. Okay, so the goblet goes on the... Right. Apples, right. Green grapes, middle. Purple grapes, left. Living tableau's gotta look... This goes here. Fits, I think. Finally, just like the picture. Excellent. Smile a bit wider. Like this. You were meant to smile, not bare your teeth. <laughs> no, still wrong. Smile like you did when Papa agreed we could marry. Please? Hmm? You're useless. I can tell something's bothering you. I have a bit of work I should see to. Again? Olgird, we agreed not to keep any secrets from one another. We promised. Forgive me. I don't wish to discuss this. Olgird. Olgird! Master von Everick's study. Here he immersed himself in the arcane arts. I see. Blood pacts, or on foreign presences. Hmm, a tome about parleying with demons. What's this? of mystery between worlds the library of an occultist pentagrams here to bind summoned beings lines aren't all clear though need chalk to fix them then i can set out the candles these wax candles chalk blood for some kind of magic <coughs> I bet. blood magic <sighs> black magic that should do it. Now for the candles. Inside the pentagram on vertices surrounding. Let's go surrounding. How about this? Come back! We must talk! Go away. I wish to be alone. Not this time. Come out at once! Leave me be. I merely want to work in peace.
Sova Kamisa Ebarasas. What other spell must I use, damn it? I've tried them all. I wish to end our pact. I summon it! Almost like fighting the White Frost again with the Wild Hunt. Iris and her father. So this is when he started smoking. Fear tankered, but the <coughs> clock ends. Drained to the last drop. Anything more? Contract between Iris and Olgierd. Not nice quite. Memory still incomplete. A knife covered in blood. Guess Olgierd got the scars on his shoulders that winter. So that's how he whiled away the long winter evenings. <coughs> Furthermore, it is agreed that Iris shall be accorded the respect she is owed. That you shall heed her counsel and requests, and... Get to the point, Father. My patience runs thin. Gladly. On Iris's request, I declare this marriage null and void. You vowed to remain with me, till death do us part. And I've held to my vow. The old geared I married is no more. Breaking a word once given does not come that easy. Believe me, you shall stay here forever. Enough! You will not command us. You will. Father! Father! No! Servant, take this carcass and feed it to the beasts. Well, shit. Okay. Cool. Then Von Everick ceased to be human. Though he still loved his wife. No. He merely remembered that he should love her. Let's go upstairs. together here, the three of us? In silence. We'll take our places, the Mother. same as then. Now <coughs> do the rest. He's obviously carrying this. Perfect match. A large clay bowl. Small bowl. For soup, maybe? Wait, what the hell? Claw scratches. Oh, from them. Got something wrong. Nope, I was trying to. There we go. Single place setting. <clears throat> There's on the table. All right, and so the large one goes here. I think this was yours. You actually ate from these bowls? Of course not. I already told you, we're not animals. 
But the caretaker would set them out all the same, as ordered. Another monstrosity. <coughs> I begged you to stop this. Those two are too, too many as it is. The dog and cat keep you company. This one will protect you. Care for the house. No matter what happens. Before I wished to know what was going on in that head of yours, I thought perhaps I could help. Now, I care not the slightest what you think or how you feel. I... feel nothing. Just as I no longer know if I still hate you. Go, Olgird. I want you out of my sight. Olgird von Everick failed to understand we'd never be able to replace him. His spectre now casts a shadow over Lady Iris's every remembrance. We're almost at our journey's end. What's there? Iris von Everick's greatest fear. Straight across then, not upstairs. My dearest wife, letters from Old Gear to Iris, were I only as skilled with words as I am with my blade, especially now, when an icy void grips my heart. I see how you look at me, and I see you wither. I cannot help you, but I believe I can cease harming you. This letter and this rose are my farewell. May you live in health, and remember but the good times, Old Gear. Ah! 
the art gives a painted feeling too. him wait I want to talk not here not in this place okay I'm sorry. I mistook you for another. For Olgird? I thought he'd returned. To me. What are you? A ghost? An illusion? I am sadness. Saw you before, but you weren't yourself. I saw you again in your memories. We've met. I don't recall. I had bad dreams. That is all I know. I've come for the rose. I've come for the violet rose Olgir gave you. On the day we saw one another for the last time. I dried it and placed it in our chamber at my bedside. I lay there for days, staring at it, until at last it crumbled into dust, as did I soon after. So, the rose is gone? Not from this world. Look, you buried my body and the flowers bloomed once more. And I, I was held in a deep, dark sleep. Only now have I awoken, just like my beautiful rose. When you placed the sketchbook on my grave, I remembered learning to draw my husband's face. Tell me, how is Olgird? Healthy? Does he fare well? Olgird doesn't deserve your concern. He pretends to be happy, but isn't uh, doing all right. Your husband's got a powerful enemy, Gontaro Dim. Know the name? I curse the day I first heard it. Who is he, and how'd he step into your lives? It's my fault. It was for me Olgird summoned the Man of Glass. And it was my fault he wished for riches, then immortality for us both. Olgird will best Odin, won't he? Now tell me, how is my husband? Your husband, 
Hunts out ever stronger sensations. He tempts fate. Because at heart, he's unhappy. At heart, he is stone. So nothing has changed. And did... Did Olgird mention me? What did he say? Not much. But I didn't ask about you. He just sent me to retrieve the rose. The rose? The last I have left of him. His last gift. Got a feeling the rose is important to you, more than a memento. I remember so little. Yet when I think of my rose, I begin to recall what was. The world around me turns real, and I... My eyes open wide and I recognize things. Remember who I am and who I was. A friend once told me about a case like this. Could be strong emotions that bind you to the rose. Feelings we witchers call pins. They're what keeps you in this world. Like an insect pinned in a collection case. Horrible. Need to be honest. If I take the rose, you might cease to exist. As might the world you built around you. And what will happen then? Shall I be free of the suffering, the sadness? Is it the void that awaits? I don't know. I don't wish to suffer any longer. But I fear there will be cold and darkness until... there is nothing at all. I need the rose. Will you give it to me? It's so fragile. Look, the petal edges have turned crimson, as they were on the day I received it. The one thing missing is the single drop of dew which slid down the leaf when I took the rose in hand. Or was it blood? Because I pricked my finger. I can't remember. You know, I never did read the letter from Olgird. I didn't have to, and I needn't have kept the flower he left me. I've come to a decision. I shall give you the rose. Our service thus ends. Thank you, stranger, for freeing us. Before we go, some advice. Beware of the one called the Man of Glass. Stand in his way, and you'll meet a fate worse than death. Seek salvation in glass that can't be broken. Glass that can't be broken? So long. I'll remember you, Iris von Eberek. That no longer matters. Farewell. Shit. Talk about feels. And we're back. Alright, meet old geared at the alchemy. Oh, that's Roach. Oh, is there a goddamn merchant here? <laughs> Let's
let's just replenish our health and everything. And I believe next time we shall go see, uh... That's it, Roach. Oh, okay. you. Well, actually, let's look. But, uh... Do, 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 do. Okay. Yeah. So next time we shall go see Old Gear. But in the meantime, thank you all for watching. I very much enjoyed having you. I'm glad that some of you got to return. Hope to see you next time. To, uh, what's today? Today is Friday. So Monday. Monday. Hope to see you Monday. And I will see you later.